welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. I'm Holly Bell. Welcome back. Okay, so we go out into the world with a belief about ourselves, something we're focusing on. Say, for example, I'm going to go with I'm fat, right? Because a lot of people have that one. So you look at yourself, you know, and every time you go to a mirror and you look at yourself, oh, I'm so fat, right? And that's all you notice about yourself, right? Oh, I'm fat. And then you go out into the world, right? And then you go, say you go to school and you get bullied because you're fat, right? Uh, people don't seem to realize that the two are interrelated and we are the ones that create that situation because of our thoughts, because of what we're focusing on. Now, here's the truth, right? The universe loves you so, so much, so much that it puts together these circumstances. It brings you these people. It brings you these situations so that you stop believing in these things that are not true about yourself. So let me say that one more time, okay? We go out into the world with the belief, the belief of I'm stupid, I'm fat, I'm too thin, I'm too tall, I'm not thin enough, I'm not, I'm too short, whatever the belief is, right? There's, there's an infinite amount of possibilities of what you could be believing about yourself, right? Could be the color of your hair, right? Some of them I find absolutely ridiculous because <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? But okay, it could be that, it could be that simple, right? Just the, you've got a different color hair, right? Or your skin is different, or who knows, right? Pick one, whatever it is. You focus on that. That's all you focus on. You think that's all anyone else can see about you. You go out into the world, and especially when you're in primary school, right? There are people that will pick on you or there will be people that bully you, you know, physically because they're trying to point that out because that's what you're focusing on. Now, these people, these situations, the universe has put this together for you. It's trying to show you that this is what you believe about yourself. Right? I was trying to show you that this is what you are focusing on. And if what you believe about yourself and what you are focusing on about yourself is not that you are love and that you are loved in every moment, then whatever it is you are believing is not true. And the universe is trying to bring you back to the truth of who you are. So today I'd really like you to think about that. You know, we talked about it in previous videos. When you come into the world, you are love. That's all you are. You are love. You are the light. And the beautiful light inside you sees the light in everyone and everything. That's all you see when you come in. And if that love and that light is not received, which 99% of the time it's not, because that's part of the experience of being here. You know, that we forget that we're the love, we forget that we're the light. And so we go on this journey <laughs> of remembering that that is who we are. We are the love, we are the light. And everything else has just been an illusion. It's not the truth. Every, all these other roles we take on, that I'm fat, that I'm stupid, that I'm whatever it is that you take on. It's all illusion. They're, they're all roles that we play in this lifetime. But none of it is real and none of it is you. So I've seen it so many times in so many different ways. You know, some people, their belief of not being good enough or not being worthy of love and then go from partner to partner to partner. And, you know, they don't realize that each partner is the same as the next. <laughs> They're all the same because you keep telling the universe, I'm not worthy of love. 
And so they keep sending you all these partners to treat you that way because that is what you believe. And that is not the truth of who you are. That you're not good enough for someone to be nice to you, for example. And so you keep attracting these partners that treat you badly. And you'll go from one and you end that relationship and you go into the next one, it's just as abusive. And then you go into the next one, it's just as abusive because you're still believing that you're not good enough to be loved for who you are. And so the universe will keep sending you these people these circumstances, these relationships to show you that you are believing something about yourself that's not true. That's what it's always about. When these things keep appearing in your life, take a step back and rather than, okay, end this relationship and go on to the next one, which is just going to be the same thing unless you take that step back and have a look at what you're creating. Have a look at what's happening. Am I attracting the same person? And if so, why am I attracting the same person? How are they treating you? Really think about it. Really take a step back because this is your life. And if you don't have time to look at your life, who does? If you don't make time, these things are just going to keep repeating. And if it's something that you're not comfortable with, and if it's something that you're not enjoying, why keep repeating it? When you have the power, you've always had the power. Because it's in you, it's in what you're believing about yourself. So really think about that today. Have a think of, I've seen it in work situations as well. You know, people will quit their jobs and go to another job, then go to another job. And from job to job to job, they will still find someone that is treating them <laughs> in the way that affects them so much that they have to leave that job and go to the next job. And then there'll be that same person there treating them the same way and then they leave that job and go to the next job. However that is, whether they're belittling them or whether they're, you know, um, berating them all day, like treating them like they're garbage or whatever it is, you know, that you just, you can't handle it. And you're like, I don't deserve to be treated that way. But deep down inside, you believe you do. It's one thing to say the words, you know, I deserve to be treated better. But inside, do you feel you do? Do you deserve to be treated better in your heart? Do you know that to be true? It's not a question of, you know, whether you do or you don't. You do deserve to be loved and you do deserve to be treated with respect and dignity. Everybody does. It's not a question. It's about what you're believing about yourself. And that belief is what keeps attracting all these people and all these situations and it will keep doing that because the universe loves you that much it doesn't want you to be trapped in that belief that is not true about who you are all right my darlings i love you guys remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages and i'll see you in the next video Bye for now.